Hi, in this video we will look at deploying Jenkins artifacts using release management. So for doing that I need to have an app. So I have a sample app which is a bootstrap website demo. Let me also show you how it looks like. It's something that I uh, downloaded from code.visualstudio.com and when I run it, it gives me a sample website uh, and this is nothing but a demo website but it works nevertheless for our demo video. What I have is also a Jenkins server setup on one of my Azure boxes and I have already configured my uh, uh, builds here. Uh, as I said, I have the website hosted on my GitHub. I'm taking that. So let's go to the configure project here just to give an overview of what the build process looks like. Uh, I have used two plugins. One is the GitHub plugin and the other one is MS build plugin because this is a Azure website. Uh, so in the build step, if you can look at, I have this required command line parameters, which publishes this as a zip file. And when I build this, uh, let's uh, just build this one. So the third build will start and once it finishes what I will have is a bootstrap.zip file which I need to deploy to Azure. So let's go back to our release definition and create a new release definition here. I will use the empty template and the first thing that I will do is to name it uh, uh, maybe Jenkins demo and then I have to link to a build definition. So obviously I don't, I'm not using the build service that comes here by default. You could have done that, but this demo is on using a Jenkins. So this is only if you are using Jenkins already for your CI system. So how do you go ahead and deploy those bits? You. So now in the service connection, it's uh, empty because I don't have any uh, service endpoints defined for Jenkins. So I will define a new Jenkins endpoint and maybe name it as Jenkins and what is the server URL. So let's just go and copy it uh, and then username and password. So I have some username and password which I'll put it here. And once I'm done with it, uh, the service endpoint connection is already for me to consume. Yeah, we can actually go ahead and link, try to link once again. So now if you can see, it says there is a service connection named Jenkins and it has already picked up this job, which is the only job on this uh, uh, Jenkins server. So it has picked it up. I don't need to do anything else, but just press the link button and this is linked. So you can see this in the artifacts section. Now here I'll, I'll just use uh, some environment. So to begin with a dev environment and what I need to do is uh, deploy it as an Azure web app deployment. I need to use one of the Azure subscriptions that I have. I will name it as Jenkins demo. I'm assuming that Jenkins demo dot uh, Azure websites dot net is available. So uh, just hope that and using the artifact picker, I can pick the right uh, uh, zip file. So this is located too deep into this uh, folder structure, but anyway, I have the whole folder structure with me because I'm using this uh, artifact picker, but I could also do something like that star star slash star bootstrap dot zip. So it should pick it up. So anyway, just to showcase that there are different ways to achieve the same. Uh, here also, as uh, we did in the previous videos, we could have uh, used uh, variables. So I will just say uh, web, it, it is dollar web app name. And I have already explained in the first video as to why do you require variables? Where does it help? So I can define this variable here and say that web app uh, name is Jenkins demo. And once I am done with that, now I could have multiple environments. I can have another environment. I'll just clone this environment here and say this is QA and maybe change this to uh, saying this is QA. Similarly, you could have other environments listed down here, but this should be more than sufficient. I will also put some uh, approvers here. So maybe I'll have myself as the approver for deploying on. So let's just do that and save this. 
nothing more you need to do if you had test steps and uh, some other steps to deploy your app uh, for testing purpose or anything else you could have done it by adding more tasks here but for our demo purpose this is sufficient so i'll create a new release uh, select the third build and let's deploy to all the environments so once we do this uh, we can go to the summary and it says it is in progress i can also go to the logs to see the live logs here uh, it is running it should run on the hosted because by default that is what should be selected uh, i am not sure about it so let's go and check it so agent options it is hosted so we are safe if you wanted to use your on premises agent uh, we have already covered uh, configuring those agents in the earlier video so do use that as we can see that this deployment has finished so let's go and try that so let's say jenkins demo dot azure websites dot net whether it loads yes it loads so that means this has deployed successfully so that's the end of my video uh, uh hope you liked it uh thank you